we're leaving uh, Blair Castle Caravan Park. At Blair Athol. Uh, Blair Athol. Uh, it, we had a really good time here. Um, we probably didn't do as much, well I didn't do as much as I wanted to do about filming the site. Um, the only other thing I wanted to add about this site was the lower toilet blocks are not as good as the ones up the top there. No, no, so we a bit more just basic. filmed the better one, didn't you? Yeah. It seemed to be about four of them all dotted about. Yeah. A lot of um, camping around the other side, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And you know, I've really enjoyed it here. Yeah. So we're on our way to Ben Nevis. Caravan, Caravan Park. Park. We can't get in there till two o'clock. So we're going to have a stop off somewhere. Now, I better go and check me um, dribbling's finish. <laughs> yeah, we're at the motorhome <laughs> service point, point, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, which is a good one with a long yeah. grate. Yeah. Yeah, so we've really enjoyed it. So yeah. we'll catch up with you later. Yep. Yeah, just, it is such a big site, isn't it? Turn left onto the alley, then take the first right. Okay. So we're going past the hotel where we had lunch yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> well, it was the bar, the Bothy bar, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A coachload of tourists being dumped at the castle. <laughs> I know they're leaving. Yeah, this is the hotel we went to coming up on our left. Railway station down there as well, isn't there? Yeah. But generally, it's it's pretty quiet. I think all motorhomes rattle, though. Coach-built motorhomes rattle. Mm. Well, apart from Heimers, of course. Someone's <laughs> going to say. <laughs> can I just say again? This yeah. is the old A9. Yeah, you can say that. But you're only allowed to say it once now. Can I only say that once today? Yeah. Well, we won't be get, well, we'll be turning off the old, the A9, won't we? Yeah. This is the B8079. Formerly known as? Prince. The A9. A calf there. That's a brewer. Oh, we stopped here once, didn't we? Whiskey shop. Turn right onto a nine.
<laughs> I was going to say was you can't beat a motorhome in Scotland. We were pulled over, wonderful scenery. Yep. Fitted into a lay by that nobody else can get in with us, I don't think. <laughs> and uh, we've got the table and we've got our lunch, haven't we, Poppy? You've had yours. You had your lunch, Pops? You have, haven't you? Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was filmed back there. So right. I recognised the beach. Okay. I recognised the entrance when we went past. Okay. While I was trying to sort the cameras out. So I didn't film it. Automatic windscreen wipers and automatic headlights make such a difference when you're driving tricky roads like this. One less thing to think about. It's like the wipers come on, just leave them in the first position, and they gradually sort of speed up as the rain starts. And you don't have to worry about the lights because the lights will come on if they're needed. It just makes it that much easier. Yeah. Must have been invisible. Yeah. Can't spot the camel. Corrin Ferry Passenger Service. So you obviously you leave your car or something there, do you? And you get a bus to the ferry. Second exit and a second exit. No. So I couldn't, didn't see which lane to be in. It's the road to the aisles, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely the one we're going to then. Yeah, definitely. I think you're thinking of Glen Nevis. Okay. Oh. In a quarter of a mile, arrive at Lodging Caravan and Camping on the right. That's 
what it was called originally, Locky Locky Caravans, Caravans and Camping. And camping. arrivals at two o'clock and we're fourteen oh two. Yeah. Arriving Here. at Logic Caravan and Camping on the right. Where do we go? Check in motorhome check in park into the left. Okay. Now I want you to park in this bay to the left. What, where these vans where are parked? Where these vans are parked, yeah. Yeah, okay. Be honest, I didn't think this was the campsite I was going to. I know. What you should... <sighs> Never mind. But it is the right campsite, so it didn't. Because it's the right campsite. Well, yeah, because you chose it. And... <laughs> <laughs> Just hope it's all right now. Uh, uh, yeah. No, well, I thought it was going to the one in the in the actual Glen. Glen all right. Yeah. But I mean, look at <laughs> look at the mountain. Oh no. Yep, there it well, is. Not to take your eyes off it, really. It's a big laundrette here. Oh, this, uh, yeah, g giant laundry, laundry machines. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, giant laundry machines. I always wanted to use one of those because yeah. there were some in Moffat, weren't there? Yeah. And then take cards and things so you don't have to have tokens or okay. coins or anything. Yeah, an enormous mountain behind. It's a bit uh, narrow, isn't it? Yeah, what's that post there? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. The trees are a bit low. Right, so we've gone past. Is this the showers here? No. No. Can't be. Glenn's over there, so I suspect we're someone over that way. We're on 17, that's... 19. 24. 18. So it's that one. It's a bit slopey, isn't it? This is about as level as I can get it, so it's this pitch is really sloping, so I've gone up on chocks on the back. So I figured out the best way to get up on the chocks was actually to roll back onto them because I was spinning my wheels trying to get up driving up them, so I rolled back down them. But yeah, so this pitch really really slopes, so it's gone up gone back as far as I can and the other factor of course is that with the waste the waste is not going to run uphill okay, yeah. the waste points up there which is probably about a foot higher than it is down there so I'm having to use the waste master as well someone else is having trouble getting onto a pitch as well not ideal and I'm not best pleased Thing on campsite etiquette. Keep your dogs on a lead, respect each other's space and privacy. Use the toilet facilities, not the hedges. Quiet times 11 pm. Respect the facilities. Checkout is 12 noon. Zero tolerance antisocial behaviour. Barbecues and fire pits allowed, but keep them off the grass. Use the bins. Please supervise children at all times. Quite a view, eh? That was quite nice. They, uh, there was a bag they gave us, and they came in from reception. A little thing about dog-friendly uh, stays, which presumably presume means picking up and don't let your dog run around yeah, off the lead and all that sort of thing. I understand that your four-legged friends are part of the family. 
Okay. And give me some complimentary some complimentary biscuits. poo bags and, and poo bags. Yeah. Well, it's it's good that they're encouraging uh, people to be more responsible with their dogs. And to bring their dogs. And to bring their dogs, which is always good. I think there's enough biscuits in there to keep Poppy occupied for a few weeks. Mm. I'm also using Glyn's uh, wheel chocks as well because uh, the Malenko ones, well I couldn't, I couldn't actually get up them. They seemed a bit harder to use. It may be something to do with it being an automatic transmission. You can see where I've been spinning my wheels trying to get up here, even with the uh, all-terrain tyres. Probably making it worse. I could have turned it round the other way, but the slope is quite severe on this pitch, I would say, and uh, I couldn't get it high enough. So maybe a little bit of thought, maybe it could have rolled onto the chocks the other way, but I don't know. It seemed a bit fraught. Yeah. Not a huge amount of room between the pitches either, so be quite interesting we'll try and get out of here well, it's well laid out it's a very nice uh, campsite pity about the trees over there would have a better view of the mountains the site costs £99 and we're here for three nights, so even I can do the maths for that. £33. <laughs> OK, this is the map of the site. We're on 17 there, I should say. If, if you don't want a, a slopey pitch, then try and avoid those. I think the ones further down are a bit straighter or a bit flatter. Tower, showers and toilets are up the top there. I'll try and have a look a little bit later. <coughs> uh, laundry is that thing we passed, the outside laundry. Everything else up here, these all seem to be um, lodges, different types of lodges, all sorts of different ones there. And yeah, those are the. F I think those are the. F Fully hang on. These are the fully serviced pitches here, and the other ones are hard standing electric. Yeah, so that's it. There are some pitches over here. I know they're lodges, aren't they? They did try and put us on a pitch next to this 63B here. There was like a spare pitch. Didn't fancy that at all. That was the only one that they had available, so they're obviously fully booked here. Yeah, they don't want us filming the toilets. I think it said somewhere on the booking in information not to film the toilets. They are beautiful, which is, <laughs> which is a shame. <laughs> they're really clean looking and sort of a, a brown, well, can't really describe them. They're sort of brown and black and very clean looking and uh, yeah, very stylish. It's better with pictures, really, isn't it? This is the river. I completely forgot to look up which river it is. Good. But yeah. Just take Poppy down here. I could see uh, Ben Nevis if it was a. Uh, not covered in clouds this morning. Excuse the hair, incidentally. <laughs> I haven't had my shower yet. I'm a bit bedhead. But uh, this morning, Jenny's going to do a bit of editing. She's been editing the uh, Blair Castle video. I just ended up with a load of photos because I couldn't film in there. So she's been doing that for a couple of days now. Um, we're going on the Jacobite uh, train. This afternoon, um, picking it up about midday, and we'd be, probably be back about seven o'clock. So it's quite a long sort of afternoon and into the evening. But looking forward to that. It takes you to Malague, go from Fort William into Malague. Poppy, just a minute, please. And uh, hopefully it's steam hauled. 
uh, sometimes it is diesel hauled apparently. But uh, yeah, so it gives us a couple of hours in Malay and a fantastic journey. It's the one that takes you over the, the so-called Harry Potter viaduct. Uh, so yeah, that should be exciting. So stick with us for that. Yeah, so the other thing about this bitch, because it slopes so much, I can't f fill the uh, tank from the hose. The hose is actually too short to reach the other end. And again, I'm resorting to an aqua roll. Yeah, it's Wednesday today, and uh, we've been on the Jacobite yesterday, and uh, we're feeling a little bit rough on the way back, but uh, I think Jenny's definitely come down with a cold, and I feel all achy and shaky. So I think it's a limb-sip day, and perhaps we'll do some washing. We're going to go up in the cable car, but perhaps not. Right. <laughs> You're going to use a little one there. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the sizest joke there. <laughs> right, check your pockets. Put, yep. your, put your laundry in. The put your laundry in the machine. Do not add detergent or any other product. Close the door. Okay. Sorry. I think that's big enough. I don't know. This is. Have you weighed it? No. This is machine number three. Choose my service wash. wash. I think it's about that. Well, isn't that the bigger machine? Yeah, but it's not 20 kilograms, I don't think. Oh, OK. Go on, then. <coughs> oh, sorry. Send me a text message. Go on, OK. Put your number in. I won't show that. But we do have a promotional code, you know. There is no bank receipt. Do you want to continue? Yes. yes. You've got to put your card there. It tells you what machine to use, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. There. Confirmation of remote start. Press start. Okay. Yeah. I did press start. And it went clunk. Oh, there we go. Happy right, with so. that. <laughs> we'll do that and then we'll... Oh, I feel really stressed out now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got the washing on. Yeah. What did you think of it here? Well, you're a bit we're... higher up there, aren't you? Yeah, and we weren't too pleased with that pitch, were we, basically? No, it's a service pitch, and it seems ridiculous that the emptying point seems higher than the rest of the pitch. But Glyn got the same problem where he is. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah he can't empty daft. the water, which seems a bit daft. But, I mean, the, that's, you sacrificed that for the, for the, uh, uh, the view, location. The location, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is terrific. Yeah. The snow up on the mountain up there. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. toilets and dishwashing Fishing, area. Yeah, wonderful. Really good. It's, can't speak for the uh, washing machine yet. No, no, we'll perhaps give you an update on yeah. that one. Yeah, the only other thing I wanted to add was that there is a, if you're in the tent area, there is a diesel generator that seems to be going 24 hours. I don't know if that's supplying the electricity to the site or not, but it's going all the time, so it's probably quite noisy. You can just about mm. hear it in the background. Is that what I can hear? Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a little bit of building work going on as well, isn't there? Yeah, but I don't think that's for the building work. I think that's. No. That's for the site, I think. I might yeah. be wrong. Oh, helps if you unlock it. Hi, right, Pops. Can we come in? I hope you found this uh, video in interesting. It's a site, obviously, we've never been to before, and it's it's the first one. Uh, of the two sites we're going from, going to from this group, um, the Highland Highland Holidays group, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, that should be interesting. So we're looking forward to Invoco tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll have a look see what that site's like. So I think that's it for now, and we will see you very soon. So bye then. Bye now. <laughs>